Hey there. Welcome back, my friends. So glad to have you with me on The Morning Mindset. If you're new to The Morning Mindset, I welcome you. My name is Kerry Green. I am a retired pastor who just can't seem to retire. (laughs) I am no longer in church leadership in the sense of a local church body, but I am now doing these morning mindsets every day, and it's very much a similar pastoral role because my heart really is to help you grow in your relationship with Christ, and I've discovered that a massive component of that is getting the way you think lined out every day because we wake up from dreams, we wake up from maybe just a really deep sleep, we wake up with our psyche kind of reset to that fleshly, non-spiritual way of living most of the time. And we've got to do the work every morning to reset our mindset. That's really a good way to think about it. It's a mindset reset. And we're doing that intentionally because we are followers of Jesus Christ. We don't want to live out that fleshly lifestyle. We want our lives to matter for the kingdom of God's sake in this world. Now, yesterday, we looked at 1 Peter 4, verses 10 and 11. We're going to get right back into that. But I want to give you another resource that might help you get your mind reset every morning. It's another podcast, another short podcast like this one, that a client and a friend of mine, Mike Henry, is producing every morning. It's called Follower of One, and it's aimed at people who are in the marketplace every single day. And it's just like this one, a five-minute short podcast. You can find it at followerofone.org. I would encourage you to check it out. Now, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10 says, each of us has received a gift and we are to use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Now, yesterday, I asked you if you are aware of what your spiritual gifts are hear that clearly. We're talking about spiritual gifts. So these are distinct from gifts you may have to play the piano or drive a car well or uh, think on your feet. This is beyond that. These are gifts given by the Holy Spirit of God. So we call them spiritual gifts. And there are some lists of the gifts in the New Testament. And you can go and read those lists. There's one in Romans chapter 12. There's some others in 1 Corinthians chapters 12, 13, 14. You can find some of the gifts mentioned. And so reading through those lists is a helpful thing. But I would suggest to you that the best way to find your gift, actually, there's two ways I'm going to mention here, is number one, to talk to a brother or a sister in Christ who knows you well and who has seen the way that you interact with other believers, someone who has experienced the impact and effect you have in the body of Christ when you interact with others. And ask them, what do you think my spiritual gifts might be? And just sit back and listen. Let them describe what they witness. Let them describe what they experience when they are with you among others in the body of Christ. And you may very well be surprised, but you also may hear some comments that kind of resonate with you. They make you nod your head and you say, yes, I think that is who I am. My friends, that might be a very good way for you to start discovering what your spiritual gifts are. Because as Peter says here, these gifts are given for other people, not for you. You know, it's not for you to use to prop yourself up and make yourself feel good. These are for you to use to serve others. So it only makes sense that others are going to be impacted by your gift in ways that might be more obvious to them than it is to you. Now, the other way that I would suggest you go about finding your spiritual gifts is to start using them. And that may sound a little funny because if you don't know what it is, how can you start using it? Well, I suggest to you that they're going to naturally, or should I say supernaturally, just come out of you when you start serving. So just find opportunities to serve and you'll start to see. Are you particularly good in an area that requires mercy? Are you particularly good in an area that requires administration or organization? Are you particularly good in an area that requires a bold proclamation of the gospel? You'll start to see those gifts rise up. So today I challenge you to serve others with an eye towards seeing what is it that comes out of you naturally or should I see supernaturally again? And join me again tomorrow for the Morning Mindset.